Silas Mago is a young graffiti artist. His motivation to venture into arts, he says, came from his family. His mother particularly used to draw in the past, while his elder brother is a gospel musician. The 18-year-old says graffiti is an important tool to communicate issues ailing the society. On this day, he is participating in a graffiti tournament that brought together many other art enthusiasts. Nasaidia kukab issues ka drugs, poverty, kituka corruption, kituka hizo. In many countries, marking or painting property without the owner's permission is considered vandalism, which is punishable by law. 23-year-old Daniel Mbugwa, also an artist, tells us that in Kenya, graffiti as an art has had its fair share of challenges. On a view, graffiti kama ni kama crime, yani si kama kitu mekubalika sana hivyo kwa society. Solomon Karanja, a manager at the Two Rivers Mall Arena, agrees with Margo, but notes that it's high time the country did away with the controversies that surround graffiti. He underscores that many youths are at ease to use art as a mouthpiece to communicate societal messages. Now we want to demystify that particular, uh, that particular mindset, get people thinking about and seeing this as a way of living, as a form of expression. Because you can find most of the young people here can barely be able to stand before people and talk. But give them a pen, give them a spray can, they will do wonders. They will speak their hearts out. So this year is just be able to help people to do that now. Bring people on board, express art, express life, speak out to the nations. Soon as Kakuta ka MP, okay, for him, anadai kiti, lakini anafaa kuwa kamiti. But you can't say that out loud. But in art, you can come and you express it. So that's the easiest form. And then Ugai Hana Macho, youth, we are being blinded. Iyo do kiasi unapewa na uyo, ita... It a, it a call development mingi kwa society. So he's blinded by money, all those vices, corruption, poverty. It's only so in a bring back youth side. Graffiti has in the past been linked to gangs who used to mark territories, while others are believed to use it as indicators of gang-related activities. However, Mago says graffiti as an art today is a mind enhancer and a potential income earner for many young people. You know, I'm a doctor, I'm an artist. So, I didn't want to take in. Because art is a leap and art is a stress reliever. Instead, you have drugs, you have to come up, you have to go to the stress, you have to go to the stress, you have to go to the stress. So art kwangu. Art kwangu ni movement ya life could you express. The people who are living day by day in day out using the can, the spray can as a way of living. So I believe yes, for anybody out there who has a love for art, I believe our culture is growing every single day to that to accept graffiti, to accept the earliest graffiti images in the world are believed to have been made even before the written language came into being, with the first drawing on walls appearing in caves called the Caves of Hans, dating from 13,000 to 9,000 BCE in Santa Cruz, Argentina. Give us mana. Switch TV.